praise be to God. Daily one missionary biography. Today's missionary. Evan John Roberts. Date of birth 8-6-1878. Date of death 29-1-1951. City Logger, Wales. Country United Kingdom. Place of vision United Kingdom. Evan Roberts was the younger of the two sons of Henry and Hannah Roberts. Brought up in a Calvinistic Methodist home, he was a God-fearing child and attended the church regularly. At a very young age, he started working in coal mines with his father and later apprenticed as a blacksmith. While working, it was not unusual for Evan to pray on his knees in the dust of the coal mine. He taught at the ragged school, school for poor children, set up for minors' children, and catered to their spiritual needs. Evan was a man of prayer and spent long nights on his knees. One night, as he was praying, he strangely started shivering and thought he was ill. But soon, the shivering subsided and he felt the presence of God in his room. He experienced the divine communion with God for about four hours which changed his life. He knew the purpose of God for his life and began studying for the ministry at Newcastle M College in 1904. While attending one of the services of Seth Joshua, Evan was deeply moved by the Spirit of God. He in turn conducted a series of revival meetings between November 1904 and January 1906. His sermons were mainly centered on the confession of sins, the profession of faith, and implicit obedience to the Holy Spirit. A powerful spiritual awakening spread through Wales and thousands were converted and added to the church. Heaven was a humble man who was brimming over with powerful zeal to serve God. His willingness to be obedient to God's leading and readiness to be on his knees made him a powerful instrument of revival in the church. He once said that he prayed for 13 hours continuously for God to move Wales. Evan also composed many poems and hymns. He spent his final years fully committed to the ministry of intercession. Beloved, is your prayer and ministry reviving others? Lord, revive me first so that I may become an instrument of revival in my household, community and the church. Amen.